Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have the latest on the cold and potentially snowy upcoming period as we do see bitterly cold arctic air starting to flood our way. Now arctic air has arrived today and it is now bringing a few wintry showers in places but generally just a very cold feel with temperatures widely dropping down towards freezing tonight especially in northern areas we're going to see those temperatures fall even further through this weekend but the real uh, interest now for wintriness i.e snow in places is looking likely to be the latter part of next working week and in today's video we will have a look at the latest from the various mid to long range models and we will have a look at those precipitation charts as there is a risk of snowfall in places now i must say there is very little consistency in positioning and precipitation type at this stage so do not take any of these charts too literally they're just here to give us an idea of what could be in store as we do progress into next week regardless of whether it is going to snow where you are it is going to be cold that is the outlook over the next week or two really cold in places and i suspect as we head towards the end of next week temperatures will be really struggling to get much above one or two degrees in the bay for many areas and over higher ground even further northwards we could even see the risk of ice days developing i.e temperatures not getting above freezing as we do progress into the last couple of days of november and the first few days of december so do remember if you enjoy my videos which you like and subscribe and remember to follow me on twitter as well the link is in the description and if you start on the live radar you can see there is very little precipitation around at the moment, but the precipitation that is moving in does have a wintry flavour to it. We have a few showers across eastern Scotland and northern Scotland here. Showers here are wintry in flavour, some snowfall over the higher ground. Towards low-lying areas, though, I said a bit of a wintry mix, and it doesn't normally get picked up too well by the live radar when it is a wintry mix. Same happening across East Anglia here, bit of snow, bit of rain, bit of sleep, probably grout pool as well mixing in. Again, the showers are fairly small and fairly light as this northerly wind comes in. The outlook for the next sort of 36 hours or so is generally for a very cold feel. Temperatures down towards the mid-single digits or low single digits tomorrow and hard overnight frosts. You can see across much of Europe now, the rainfall and precipitation is turning more and more to snow. As this cold spell is not only going to affect the UK and Ireland, but it is going to affect much of northern and western Europe. Now, do put on the temperatures as around 8 pm this evening. Those temperatures are falling away quite substantially, especially further northwards. Those lighter blues indicating temperatures down towards freezing already. Still some hints of yellow further southwards and westwards, as we do have still some lingering milder air for most areas here now. Low single digits, if not below freezing overnight tonight. Now, if we do go to the UK view, which will give us a good indication of what we'll be expecting over the next five days, you can see those showers, those wintry showers, do filter away overnight tonight, and we just see clear skies and lots of very cold weather, and we wake up for Saturday morning. Through the afternoon, there'll be plenty of sunshine around, so it'll actually be pretty beautiful out there, but it will feel cold. It'll be the coldest daytime temperatures we've had for about seven or eight months now. Temperatures really struggling to get much above four or five degrees. Saturday night into Sunday, this is where we could see the hardest frost for many areas, especially further eastwards and southwards, where we do have clearer skies. But look out to our west, rainfall is moving in. Now you'd look at this and think perhaps this is going to bring some snow, but actually it does have a big wedge of milder air, and we're temporarily going to see milder air move in. However, the way this rain in, uh, sort of moves within the colder air, it actually won't warm us up all too much at all. Yes, part of the rubber island behind the weather front will go warm, warmer at least, or milder, but England and Wales under the weather front, yes, the upper air temperatures are a lot warmer, but at the surface we actually keep the cold air trapped. So it's going to be as cold, maybe even colder than Saturday's afternoon temperatures, maybe it'll be three or four degrees in places with this rainfall. No chance of snow though because of the upper air temperatures are too mild and the dew points are above freezing. As we progress beyond that though, that low pressure moves away and then we see cold air wrap back in from the east and this is where things could start to ramp up next week. We do see more wintry showers coming in from the east, more widespread as that wind goes more from a straight easterly 
And again, we'll have to keep an eye on any of these disturbances where you can see some large areas of precipitation moving in through Monday and Tuesday, but it's too far away at this stage to look at it in too much detail. As we progress beyond that, though, look what happens into Wednesday. We see continued showers through Tuesday evening into Wednesday in the east, but look out to our west. Precipitation moving in, and this is a low pressure that is sliding down from the northwest to the southeast. The last couple of days, some of the runs have brought this really far inland, brought the milder air with it, and actually turned us milder, uh, and sort of broken the cold spell up, like we're seeing on Sunday, but more permanently. However, the latest updates in the past 24 hours are keeping this low pressure further westwards and further southwards. And what this means is it could skirt parts of Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Wales, and perhaps England, especially Southern England. Now, we can't right, uh, get out to the time frame of Wednesday evening where this would move in but you can see through Wednesday afternoon actually does develop quite a large area of snowfall for the Republic of Ireland here for it does progress eastwards and southwards we'll have a look at some of the more longer range runs in a minute which could give us a better indication of the positioning of this but regardless very interesting this disturbance in this area of low pressure you see a very close eye on this as it could locally give significant snowfall. Again, wouldn't take this too literally, as the positioning of this will likely change, but here, 5 to 10 centimetres are under the heaviest of snow here. And again, this is falling in the middle of the day. You change the timings up overnight, we'd probably see more widespread snow falling with this. Now, if you look at the upper temperatures, you can see cold air has moved in at the moment, but milder air is going to nudge in through Sunday, and it is going to turn us slightly milder. But we'll see the surface temperatures in a minute. And to be honest, it doesn't really increase all too much through Sunday afternoon, even though the upper temperatures go above freezing here. The cold air wraps in again for Monday, and then it dominates through much of the week. And you see a brief wedge of mild air there, and that is fueling that precipitation and potential snowfall as we do progress towards Wednesday. There is the risk of more snow on Thursday and Friday. I even saw a Met Office graphic today where they have already started to highlight the risk of a snow event or some sort of snow event next week from Wednesday to Friday. Again, they are very ambiguous with their timings and positioning and their phrasing of it. So don't overhype it yet, but they have looked at this. And I do think they are, of course, having a look at this in a lot of detail as there could be uh, some significant snowfall in places. Again, don't know where, don't know how much, but the synoptic pattern is definitely suggesting there will be heavy snow somewhere in and around the UK. So if we do have a look at the temperatures now, uh, you can see through this evening it's cold. Temperatures widely down towards freezing, if not below freezing. Minus 5 or minus 6 is possible in places. Tomorrow afternoon, temperatures not getting off much uh, of, of sort of 4 to 6 degrees, maybe slightly milder further, further westwards, but really cold across Scotland. Overnight into Sunday could be a really hard overnight frost, especially for northern and eastern areas, but again, it does depend on the cloud as that is trying to fill in a bit from the west, so we we'll have to keep clo close eye on that. That has been Sunday afternoon. As I said, look across England and Wales. The upper air temperatures are around 3 or 4 degrees. You'd expect temperatures in the day to be around 10 degrees. But instead, they're around 3 or 4 in places. And that's because the rain and the cloud is keeping a layer of very cold air trapped at the surface. Actually keeping us pretty frigid through Sunday. And those temperatures have no time to recover. As soon as we head into Monday, the cold air moves back in. So in the morning, it could actually be 8 or 9 degrees. But by the middle of the afternoon, we're back down to 5 or 6 as the cold air moves back in. And Tuesday, overnight temperatures dropping down towards freezing, again, depending on cloud amounts. And Tuesday afternoon, again, struggling around that 4 to 6 degree mark. And again, those temperatures plunging on Wednesday. And look on Wednesday afternoon, hardly getting above 2 to 4 degrees for many areas. And again, in this sort of time frame, the UKV and other models can slightly overdo the temperatures. And I mean slightly, maybe a degree or two overdo it. But that can make all the difference when we're looking at snowfall and whether we're looking at sort of how it's going to feel out there. But look at that, Wednesday afternoon, quite a few areas are around the freezing mark through Republic of Ireland, Northern Ireland, Northern England, Scotland, and areas of Wales and England as well. So it is looking really quite cold next week. Exact details yet to be determined, but this doesn't look like it's going to be a cold snap anymore. This actually looks like it's going to be a proper cold period with the risk of snow next week. But again, I don't want to overhype it yet, as we are uh, yet pretty unsure exactly on the timings and positioning. 
And if you look at the latest GFS and see what that is in store, you can see the straight northerly winds are coming in at the moment. The high pressure topples and you see that low move through on Sunday. That gives the milder air, but then eventually wraps that cold air back in for Tuesday and Wednesday. And then we see another low exit out of Iceland here. And it's these areas of low pressure developing towards our west that spin around within the colder air and do produce potentially some heavier precipitation. This is sort of a perfect snowy synoptic here for next Friday. Low pressure to our south, cold air coming in from the north. You look at those upper air temperatures, cold air wrapping in within this low. Again, it is going to be very marginal indeed, but the possibility is there. And, you know, we progress beyond that. We stay very cold all the way to uh, sort of t out towards sort of 10 to 12 days time for eventually westerly winds win out but again i wouldn't look at that in too much detail as it is way too far in the future if we do look at the latest precipitation charts from this gfs run we'll skip to around monday time when we do start to see that cold air return as that's the sort of area of interest as you can see the low moving in on monday or sunday through monday it's going to just be a pretty miserable area of rain so through Monday into Tuesday, snow showers further eastwards are possible. Not too much here as we do have lighter winds for the GFS. But then you can see that low moving in. And that's actually a lot more intense and further northwards here. So you can see already the positioning and intensity of the precipitation and area of low pressure is completely different to the UKV. And that's making all the difference. And then we progress through Wednesday into Thursday. And again, you see snowfall in places. You must, I must say, though, Look at that precipitation in the southeast. Some of it rain, some of it snow, just showing you how marginal it will be. Evaporative cooling could come into play. And as we progress beyond that, we see more precipitation coming in off the Atlantic or in from the east, giving plenty of heavy snowfall. And again, it just turning colder and colder and colder and eventually seeing lots of snow by the end of this run, or at least lots of of falling snow. So you can see here it's a bit of a mix, a mi mishmash really of precipitation, of rain, sleet and snow, but you can't say here it's going to be dry as we progress beyond sort of the middle of next week. Now if you do have a look at the latest GM, see what that has in store, you can see the very cold northerly wind is coming in at the moment. Low pressure moving through on Sunday, again into Monday, giving that heavier rain in places. The northeasterly returns, and those lows develop within the cold air. But look, this low is even further southwards. Now, this will actually threaten the precipitation, main precipitation, to stay in the channel, but it would actually allow colder air to build in. So it could actually, more of that precipitation could fall as snow. And beyond that, towards day 10, we stay in a very cold north or northeasterly flow, and it stays cold and blocked right towards the end of this run again if we go back you can see that low approaching wrapping cold air in behind it again could be sort of a marginal back edge snow event before eventually that cold air is slowly getting nudged away but even here where the five degree uh, minus five degree ice is slowly getting pushed away we'd still remain very cold at the surface here but look at those two meter temperatures still remaining very cold at the surface here around freezing for midday or next uh, week on monday um here as we just have so much cold air trapped at the surface. Uh, if you look at snow depth, you can see much of northern Europe is buried and sort of areas of snow at times, but it is going to be extremely marginal for the UK. If we do have a look at the precipitation charts from the GM here, if we do go out sort of to the areas of interest here, as we head into Wednesday, again, that low pressure moving in off the Atlantic, giving snow in places, again, potentially further southwards here, but you can see the heaviest precipitation actually stays out towards France, but we still, still do see some heavy snowfall in places as this to progress in. The thing about the GM here, most of the precipitation falling in land is falling as snow, and that is because, as a consequence of this low being slightly further southwards, allowing cold air to wrap in. As we progress beyond that, we continue to see lots of snow showers in from the east, and you can see this general white blanket indicating snow showers or areas of precipitation around. Again, normally it's going to snow everywhere here, but areas of shower activity within this, and that generally just continue beyond that. And we can even see an area of low pressure run down the east coast, again, giving the risk of snow. Remember, to see significant snowfall, or at least disruptive snow from the UK, all you need is probably two or three hours of heavy settling snow, and it could cause havoc if we see a few inches from that. So yes, even though this is not showing you know, a major snow event, you know, we see a wall of snow moving in, even these sort of systems can cause significant issues and can give whiteout conditions. And then all the way to the end of the run, we slowly see low pressure approaching from the Atlantic, but it's still staying absolutely frigid for most of the UK.
Now, after you finish on the longer range runs by having a look at the latest ECMWF, again, the low pressure moves through on Sunday. Then we see that easterly wind continue in, low pressure spiraling wind within the cold air, and right towards day 10. It's probably the most sustained cold run here from the Eastern WF, as not only are we staying in the very cold air, but the block to our north and our west looks strong and solid with that wind coming in directly from the north, the streamlines coming directly from the Arctic, and it would be really cold on the surface. Look at that, for the, much of the spine of the British Isles, of course, coastal areas are always going to be slightly milder, but... Towards the spine of the British Isles here, we're looking at around 0 to 2 degrees in the day. Upper air temperatures widely down towards minus 6 to minus 8 degrees. So not absolutely bitterly cold upper air temperatures, but very cold nonetheless, especially for this early in the winter, uh, just keeping us locked in the freezer. Temperature deviation, again, uh, just low, unfortunately, but it will be around the 6 to 10 degrees below average. And if we do go over to the WH charts, we're actually able to have a look at some of the precipitation from this Eastern WF run as well. Again, take it all with a pinch of salt. But as we progress into next week, we can see that precipitation moving in from the west, giving snow potentially for Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, and even areas of snow there for England and Wales. Again, very marginal with some of it snow, some of it rain, uh, sort of a mix, and then eventually more snow as we see even an area of low pressure spiraling in the southeast that actually gives very similar hints to what we saw last December, where we saw some very heavy snow in the southeast. This perhaps more marginal, coming towards the start of this, uh, or start of the colder spell, where you know, cold air isn't as established, but nevertheless could cause some significant issues. And then look at that, some very heavy snowfall in the north, giving sort of, uh, sort of proper easterly wind vibes there, with that wall of snow showers moving in. And that just continues into the long range with more areas of snow spiraling and even area of heavy snow there for the Midlands as we do progress beyond that. So looking really quite cold and potentially snowy here as we do progress through towards the end of November and start of December. Now this is just summarised by having a look at the latest ensembles. Again, these are not going to give us too much more than what we've seen on the operational runs, but it's just going to show you the consistency Yes, we have a milder bump for about 48 hours or 24 hours to 48 hours through Sunday into Monday. But beyond that, majority of the time over the next two weeks or so, we'll let down at the minus five point. You can see this brief milder bump here from some of the runs. Nowhere near as many runs going for a milder bump today as it was yesterday. And that is a good sign for snow. And you can see precipitation on the bottom of the graph as well. Colliding with that cold air does bring significant risk of seeing some snow in places. Again, I don't want to say exactly where or how much, but just looking at in isolation, that is a recipe for a potential snow event somewhere. You can see, though, it does stay cold. Precipitation is not minimal, so that does mean there will be plenty of showers around, especially for northern and eastern areas as we see the wind veering in off the North Sea, convective, and also disturbances. We saw plenty of those on those precipitation charts. So I do think it is going to be cold. Maybe not quite as cold as the spell we saw last December. Where it was frigid. It really was cold. We got sort of temperatures down towards freezing most days. in uh, sort of, by, by the middle of afternoon down towards freezing. But I don't think it could be that cold yet. Could get there. If we do see some more consistency in the upper air temperatures. Maybe crept downwards a little bit. But I do think there is the risk of this being really quite wintry with a lot of precipitation. Does not mean there'll be loads of cessing snow, remember. That all depends on ground temperatures and exact timings and daytime uh, temperatures and all different caveats that, again, we can look at nearer the time, but at this time frame it is pointless. But I do think there will be a lot of falling snow in this sort of scenario. Two means temperatures, again, can't take them too literally here from the ensembles, as they always are slightly higher than though what they are in reality. But even here, three or four degrees in the day. And of course, the overnight temperatures here are complete rubbish, as it will be below freezing most evenings over the next couple of weeks. And then have a look at the snow depths. Some snow depths spikes appearing there through, through the last days of November, early December. Again, a bit of fun looking at it at this stage. Uh, as all the ensemble members do disagree with positioning of lows and disturbances and things like that. And most of these ensemble members, uh, well, the ensemble members are low resolution, so they're not going to pick up on all the small little disturbances that some of the operational runs do pick up on. And that's why sometimes, you know, snow events can appear out of nowhere. So, again, a bit of fun looking at this, just showing you the risk is there over the next couple of weeks. And you can see from the dew points, again, all around freezing for the foreseeable future, giving a good indication of snow conducted there. If we do finish by looking at the ECMWF ensembles, the midday run has just come out. 
and you can see it is very consistent with the GFS run. So again, we won't look at this in too much detail at all, but you can see again, down towards that minus five region and staying there, if not getting slightly colder in the longer term, as we do fetch more and more northeasterly winds. Now, remember, end of November, early December, is not like March, where the cold air is to our east, as it progresses over the top of us, it warms up and runs out. We are in the start of winter, it's getting progressively colder in the northern hemisphere, therefore cold air that moves in on top of us can actually get colder as it progresses, colder as it sits over the top of us, and the longer an easterly wind goes, the more likely we are going to draw even colder air from the Arctic or from Siberia. So there is a good bit of risk here, like we saw last December, of the longer the spell goes on, the colder the air gets and the more frigid conditions could be. So we are going to continue to keep a very close eye on this, but if you are looking for snow, if you are looking for colder weather, you can't beat what we're seeing at the moment for late November, early December. It doesn't get much better than this. Yes, you could argue we could see the minus 10 isotherm, but that is highly unlikely to be seen at this early in the season. This is almost sort of the best sort of scenario for wintriness at this stage. But we will have to keep a very close eye on the exact systems, exact timings of any disturbances, any areas of low pressure, uh, as they are going to likely chop and change a lot in the next couple of days. And remember, we're not looking at any significant snowfall or widespread snowfall at all, at least until next Wednesday, which is still around five days away which does give a lot of uncertainty in air, in positioning. The one positive, though, if you are looking for snow, as I said, the pattern does look pretty locked in now. We're not seeing a lot of deviations here. It is looking cold. It's looking blocked for the foreseeable future. So it's going to be a very interesting watch in the next couple of weeks. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. Make sure you keep up to date with the videos. And, of course, the Met Office warnings, I'm sure they will start to be updated into the next working week. And I'll see you again for another video soon.